Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this digital circuit and as you can see, it consists of two 4 cross 1 multiplexers and one 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So here, this M1 and M2 are the 4 cross 1 multiplexers while this M3 is equal to 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So as you can see, this X0 to X7 are the inputs to the multiplexer M1 and M2 and here, this A, B and C are the selection inputs for this multiplexer. So basically over here, with the help of these three multiplexers, the 8 cross 1 multiplexer has been implemented. So here, with the help of these multiplexers, we want to realize the specific boolean function. So to implement this boolean function, here we have been asked to find the values of this x0 to x7. So here, depending on the selection inputs A and C, these two multiplexers will select the specific input. So if you see the multiplexer M1, then depending on the values of the selection lines, that is S1 and S0, this any one of the four inputs will get selected. Similarly, for this multiplexer M2 also, depending on the values of the selection inputs S1 and S0, any one of the inputs from X4 to X7 will get selected. And then, depending on the value of the selection input S, either y1 or y2 will get selected. So in short, based on the values of the selection inputs S, S1 and S0, out of the 8 inputs, any one of the input will get selected. So basically, this is the truth table of the 8 cross 1 multiplexer. So as you can see over here, this selection input S is equal to B, but the selection inputs S1 and S0 are A and C respectively. That means here, our selection inputs are B, A and C where this B represents the MSB, but the C represents the LSB. So as you can see from the truth table, this every input represents the specific main term. For example, when the selection inputs are 0, 0, 0, then this X0 will get selected. So basically, this selection input represents the M0 main term. And likewise, we have the different main terms from M0 to M7. So here, Depending on the inputs of this X0 to X7, we can select the specific input. And in this way, by selecting the values of this X0 to X7 inputs, we can implement any boolean function of the three variables. So here, we want to implement this specific boolean function. So as you can see over here, this A bar is common between the first two terms. That means here, further we can write this expression as this A bar dot 1 plus C bar plus a dot b bar dot c. So here, this 1 plus c bar is equal to 1. That means this expression can be written as this a bar plus a dot b bar dot c. So here, to find the inputs x0 to x7, we need to find the corresponding mean terms which is represented by this boolean function. So if we represent this function in the k-map, then we can easily find the corresponding mean terms. So here, this is the truth table of the given multiplexer. So as you can see, this B is the MSB, but the C is the LSB. And since it is of three variables, so with the help of the three variable K map, we can easily find the corresponding min terms. So here, these four min terms represents the A bar. Because if you see over here, then in this group, the variable A is not changing and its value is equal to zero. That means this group, represents the A bar. Similarly, this mean term M3 represents the A dot B bar dot C. Because for this mean term, the value of the variable A in C is equal to 1, while the value of the variable B is equal to 0. Therefore, this mean term represents the A dot B bar dot C. So overall if you see, then this boolean function consists of 5 mean terms. That is M0, M1. M4, M5 and the M3. Or in short, this is how we can represent it. That means for the given boolean function, the output y is equal to 1 for these specific min terms. Or in the truth table if you see, then for this particular min terms, the output y is equal to 1. So as you know, when all the selection inputs are 0, then this represents the x0 input. And likewise, when all the selection inputs are 1, then it represents the x7 inputs. That means here, this should be the value of the x0 to x7. That means in the multiplexer, 
we should apply these inputs to the x0 to x7 and with the help of it we can implement this given boolean function so as you can see the value of the inputs x0 to x7 should be equal to 1101 1100 so from this we can say that for the given question this is the correct answer